Hare Krishna. This is a real serious time on our planet. I've been on your planet now for about, I don't know, 40 plus years. The end of this month of April, I'll be hitting my little 43rd year on your planet. And I've been observing a lot of things going on in this world. And I could, I could agree with the wisdom of the Vedas and the sages that are telling you that right now is the most degraded time of any time. It's also the greatest time, but that's another video. But this is the most degraded time. All you got to do is turn on the news or just look out the window. When you see birds confused, when you see jumbo flies in the month of March and April and they're outside and it's yesterday, man, yesterday it was 32 degrees in the morning. We're talking about the temperature where water freezes. It was 32. It was 30 when I woke up, 32 when I left for work and I saw flies outside. How do flies survive in 30 degree weather? I don't know. I guess they got Arctic flies. But there's so much trouble headed this way. And I'm just trying to plant some seeds in the mind of the conscious community. Because I feel that they are the strongest people in the world. Once you put that people down in a pressure cooker. Once you put them down in the dumps and the sewage and the sludge. I mean, just, just look at the situation of black people on this planet. Black body people, Moors, whatever you want to. There's a million names for the unnameable. You've had black people on the bottom ever since Europe came out of its dark ages about 500 years ago. Pretty much that was the end of all good living for black people. And ever since black people have been on the bottom, you know, a lot of people don't know the science of the lotus, but the lotus only grows from the most polluted waters. And I'm really feeling that black people are going to be instrumental and cleaning up the mess because the black people are the ones that's down in the pollution. Instead of us trying to come up out of the pollution, we got to clean up the pollution for the younger races. All of the pollution that the younger races did, whether it was intellectual or spiritual, you know, some younger races, like they got it together when it comes to their spirituality. But it seems that the black people are delegated to the lowest position of rank, according to these different foreign forms of spirituality so as it is black people have learned to tolerate stuff and in our tolerance we've learned great benefit the great benefit of tolerance is that if you're as humble as a blade of grass you now have the power to crack through concrete but i don't want to reiterate that stuff this is a real serious video that this planet really needs work. First of all, there's no intelligent leadership on this planet Earth. Donald Trump is not going to save you. Hillary is not going to save you. And Bernie Sanders might not live long enough to save you. Um, listen, none of them can save you. They don't have the required intelligence. They are just well-groomed dogs and cats who have good education and arist arist uh, aristotic Arist Arist <laughs> aristocracy, whatever. These aristocrats have their rank, but they don't have intelligence. They don't ban cow slaughter. You see in the borough of Queens, the cows are smart enough to keep breaking out, right? The cow is saying, I don't think that a, a sharp knife to my throat should be my demise. A cow is saying this. Cows are breaking out in Queens. Nobody's thinking about cow protection, but don't you know? That this industry, this cow slaughter industry is destroying the planet. First of all, methane, when you herd up too much cows, you produce methane. And these are scared cows, so they're farting even more than a regular cow. And methane increases planetary temperatures. It takes, what, 400 gallons of water to make one friggin' hamburger. One hamburger that you ate at McDonald's just wasted 400 gallons of water. And you say, well, what's the problem with that? The ocean is full of water. Well, silly human... You don't drink salt water. You drink fresh water. And guess what's happening to your polar ice caps? They are melting. They're melting every day. We're running out of fresh water. Prabhupada did say that it would stop raining. 
and there would be no grains and because there's no grains humans would start eating each other well we already know in china they're eating baby placentas baby fetuses already all right you already got when you eat tilapia fish According to Bobby Hemmett, tilapia fish has human genes in it. So all of you people think you're making healthy alternative choices by eating fish. You're still eating human genes. You're still a, you're a subtle cannibal. And once your body gets used to taking human genes, taking that next jump over to just eating a straight human's arm or guts will not be a, 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 a far stretch anyway. So let's look at what you're doing when you're eating fish. First of all, let's look at pollution. I'm often in Far Rockaway and I be seeing these little kids littering. I don't know what their parents are teaching them, but when you live four blocks from the ocean, nobody should be littering. Matter of fact, nobody should be littering on the planet at all. This is Mother Earth. This is Mother Lakshmi. This is the cow. We supposed to protect the Mother Earth. 5,000 years ago when they had assaulted the dignity of the planet Earth, hundreds of millions of kings who had the potential to be the father of billions, if not trillions of people, they had to be wiped out. Krishna had the battle of Mahabharat to destroy the evil rulers in 3100 BC. Because they were idiots. They were attacking mother. They were attacking Draupadi, who is the mother cow, who was no normal woman. So now what we got on this planet? How is this cow and this, this ocean and this land connected? Simple. All of this pollution that I'm telling people, yo, y'all got to stop littering these plastic bags. First of all, a plastic bag takes 10 to 20 years to break down in the environment. 10 to 20 years. Plastic bag. Aluminum can. 200 years plastic bottle 450 years glass bottle 2000 years this is what y'all are doing to your planet i don't have to stay here forever because i'm not this body and i'm gonna leave this body sooner or later but what kind of world am i gonna leave behind what kind of man am i if i don't even try to stand up i'm not asking for the power or the money of this world which is all temporary phantasmagoria i'm asking that while we here let's live like you call yourself god you call yourself God? Well, if you God, man, use some of your godly attributes. The first thing you need to do is protect your environment and your cows. All of these plastics are breaking down into the ocean. Scientists are looking for tons and trillions of tons of metric plastic, and they're not finding it because it's breaking down to molecular sizes. So you now, you say, I'm not going to eat no beef. I ain't going to eat no pork. I'm just going to eat fish. Don't you know that the fish is already saturated with microplastic? The plankton out there in the ocean are eating plastic. They're thinking it's food. And then the fish are eating the plankton. And bigger fish eat those fish. Yo, Plastic is composed of mostly oil, petroleum. And you say, well, okay, oil comes from the earth. So what's the problem? Well, God damn it, then have an oil spill every day. Because you're not supposed to mix water and oil or different chemicals on the planet earth just in a, in a capricious fashion. In your body, you have bile, you have mucus, you have acid, you have blood, you have water, and you have so many other liquids. They never mix. And if they mix, it's in a controlled way. You cannot keep destroying your environment. Listen, don't vote for none of these idiots. They're not talking the real deal. They're not talking, let's stop police brutality. Listen. Even if you woke up today and started killing police, you're not changing the mentality of the higher ups. All they're going to do is hire more police who have the same or worse mentality. The police is not even your enemy. The police is the security guards who just happen to be white supremacists. They're idiots. They don't even know. Let me tell you something. When a person says I'm a white supremacist and I'm an I'm a Aryan, if you don't know the meaning of the word Aryan or the mentality of a word Aryan, no, you're not an Aryan. You're a caveman. You become a caveman because only a caveman does not know the value of human life. Human life is very rare and very precious. And I'm just begging people, yo, stop polluting the planet. Yo, go out there and buy some land. You got so many so-called black leaders and they're talking all of this crap, but none of them are telling you to protect the cow. Meanwhile, everybody is worshiping Kemet. If you worship Kemet, you should be into cow protection. Het Heru, Het is house. Heru is Hari, or another name for Hari. Heru is that champion deity who is the son of Osiris. Heru is everything to the ancient Egyptians, but his abode, his shelter is Het Heru, the cow. Y'all got to protect this cow. There's so many videos on YouTube that tell you about the virtues of cow and the virtues of cow milk. 
And I'll just say real simply, right? For all you people out there hating on cow's milk, I support you. As long as you hating on commercial cow's milk. But if you have never been to a Hare Krishna farm where there's a thing called a happy cow, because a cow ain't stupid. A cow knows when you might be getting ready to kill it. Or a cow knows when you took its baby away. Before the baby even got to suckle from its mother's breast, y'all take this cow and put it in a box and turn it into veil parmesan. You goddamn stupid humans are supporting this slaughter industry. And the cow is now crying. And she's now mourning. And then these scientists or these farmers come and hook up these things to her nipples, nipple pumps, and suck her mournful milk right out of our body. So in that mournful milk, you got pus, you got blood, and you got stress hormones. And you wonder why people are out there raping and killing and doing all kind of craziness just off a whim. No, we're being raised by, we're a generation that's raised by poisoned milk. If you've never been to a Hare Krishna farm and had milk from a happy cow, then you need to shut up. Don't hate on milk. Because right now, right, if I buy a patch of land, all I need is some flowers, some seeds, some bees, and one milking cow. When a cow dumps on the ground, already inside of her dung, there's something called capri. The seed for capri, or the dung beetle, is there. The dung beetles burrow under the cow's dung. And wherever the dung beetle burrows, there will be more earthworms. Where there's more earthworms, there's more saturation by the water into the soil, and there's more aeration of air into the soil, making the soil healthy. So you have a cow, you will also have a fertilized field. Don't use the jungles and cut them down like they doing in Brazil. These idiots in Brazil are cutting down the jungles. The jungles are half of the air that you breathe. They're cutting down the jungles to grow alfalfa, to grow crops, to feed to cows that's going to get killed. They're not concerned with feeding humans. They're concerned with feeding cows so that they can sell you a dead cow in the form of meat and make money. They don't care about your generation. The BRICS, whether it's British or Russia or China or Brazil or whoever or India, they don't care. India? India is the biggest exporter of beef. Black market beef is coming out of India. These are the, supposed to be the people who worship the holy cow, and they killing the cow more than anybody. The Muslims are running over that country. Well, you know why the Muslims are so strong in India, right? First of all, thousands of years ago or hundreds of years ago, my numbers ain't so right right now, but there was a Shankaracharya chased all of the Buddhists out of India. And in return... Hundreds of years later or thousands of years later, the Buddhists sold India out to the Muslims. And that's why you got so many Muslims over there now. A Muslim, one Muslim man could marry four Hindu women and have 12 Muslim kids. So in a few years, India is going to be a Muslim country and cow slaughter is going to go crazy. Yo, cow slaughter has a serious impact on the environment from the fertilizer going into the water yo y'all I, I just been doing a lot of studying and a lot of researching and it just is a natural course I'm, I'm just a curious person yo this cow industry they got stuff in the water that's turning the frogs into females male frogs into females and this stuff is in all of our drinking water so you got plastic in your drinking water you got hormones in your drinking water you got fluoride which clogs up your pineal gland yo the world is messed up if these so-called leaders are not talking about fighting chemtrails and fighting environmental pollution then i don't care about what they got to say trump doesn't bother me he's a big orange i'm gonna cut him up and put him in a fruit salad that's all he is to me but i gotta throw away the toupee because i don't i don't like the taste of hair yeah, man, these are all fools and idiots making a mockery of the political process. And guess what, America? You're about to have a nice little nifty civil war on your hand because now you're going to mess with the gay rights. The gays are the new bullies on the planet Earth. And Mississippi and, and all of these southern states are now saying, now let's watch the legislation in these states. They're saying that a private business can deny or a state can deny services to someone based upon their sexual preferences. That's just a test because they want to bring slavery back. So all you got to do first deny one group their rights. If you're gay, you got to go in through the back door. You can't eat in this establishment. If you're gay, you can't get Medicaid. You can't get welfare. If you're gay, if they're successful with that, the next one is going to be black people. You know, they, they want to bring that Jim Crow back. Like Paul Mooney said, Black people are not welcome anywhere in white society because 
when they wrote the book of American history and slavery, we was not supposed to get out of slavery. We freed ourselves from slavery. Not, not no Abraham Lincoln. He did not free us from slavery. It was the Gullah Wars, G-U-L-L-A-H, also known as the Seminole Wars. Look that up. We freed ourselves. America will never teach you that in their history books that we freed ourselves from slavery. So, what was that? I was talking about the Gullahs and slavery. I'm trying to backtrack because there's so much stuff in my head right now, you know, and I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be like, I missed a point and I was trying to drop a gem. But I think that you guys can pretty much sum up what's going on in this country. Civil wars on the horizon. They want to get slavery back. That's a fact because the economy is dropping. It's dropping precipitously and they cannot maintain it with their current standards. So the only way is through free human slave labor. And they're weakening the black society more and more. All you conscious people out there, go buy some land, man. Get some land. Don't try to get these better jobs and a better position. Don't try to buy a record label. Don't try to buy a new BMW or a Mercedes Benz. With the money that one man gets with a Mercedes Benz, I can buy a couple of acres of land. Like I said, there's not a lot of trustworthy leaders in the black community right now that you could give your money to. And in any community, for that matter, everybody, you know, Srimad Bhagavatam says in the 12th canto that the world leaders in the last days will just become plunderers. And that's what we're dealing with right now. Everybody's plundering, plundering. I can applaud the Hare Krishna movement because they already got the farms. They already got the protected cows. They already got the best milk. If I have some milk, if I have some fruits, some flowers, and I have some bees, I can take just regular grains. You know, rice is boring by itself. But rice and butter, which comes from milk, is beautiful. You can make a thousand foods. You can make porridge. You can make, oh man, oatmeal. So many things. But you need that dairy. You need pure dairy. Oh yeah, cold milk. Is hazardous for the human body, but hot milk with spices is actually very good for you. And I'm not talking about this stuff that we buy in the stores. And one thing I'm I'm a little disappointed with in observing the Hare Krishna movement is when I go to the temple and they offer foodstuffs to the deity, most of the time it's made with store-bought milk. Man, you can't give Krishna food that has blood in it. He's not a bloodthirsty being. You have to get, listen, you got a Hare Krishna farm in Pennsylvania. That's like an hour and a half, maybe two hours from New York City. I'll say three at the tops, right? There's no excuse for the Hare Krishna temples not to have milk from Gita Nagari in every one of their temples. I shouldn't have to come tell you this. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a 40 year old black man who just came into this Krishna consciousness movement. I'm, listen, I'm not even a member like that. I just chant Hare Krishna and try to uphold certain principles and try to hit people to what's going on. So I'm not even a me member. I'm not even initiated. But I know when I see something that has some value and then I could spread it to people for their benefit. And a Hare Krishna movement, y'all should be like the Jews right now. Y'all should be the richest people on the earth, not your monks. Not your spiritual leaders who are supposed to have renunciation from the material world. The householders are supposed to be very rich. Y'all, like I said, Hare Krishnas should have stores. They should be selling produce. Y'all should be buying from each other and selling to each other. Keep the money in an enclosed circle just like the Jews do. Come on, y'all are supposed to be the most intelligent people on the planet Earth. You have to at least offer your deity some real milk. So all you devotees should band together, get a transportation program. I have a driver's license. I'll drive. I don't care. Get a program. Get that milk from Gita Nagari. When you go to Gita Nagari, they have so much land and food out there, they can't even give away all of the food. I mean, yo, this is so real that we could be so prosperous if we follow Prabhupada, but we want to follow gurus who want to print books with Prabhupada's name on it, even though Prabhupada ain't wrote that book. I don't listen. That's not my fight. That's you guys' fight. If you guys want to accept a bag of Agita that was rewritten, that's your business. I ain't knocking your guru. He probably had good intentions. But take Prabhupada's name off of that book because Prabhupada did not write that book and put his name on that book. And then we could say, all right, this is more fair. It's revised. It's made by such and such. Hare Krishna movement, if y'all going to save this world, you don't have a lot of time to go. There's less and less devotees being involved in the Harinam Sankirtan, making sure that people can hear the holy names of Krishna. The holy names consisting of these 32 syllables, 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण इज योर शुड बी आउट देयर टीचिंग द पीपल द साइंस ऑफ मदर अर्थ एंड द मिल्क एंड द काउस एंड हाउ वी शुड हैव लैंड एंड हाउ वी गॉट टू रन अवे फ्रॉम दीस इल्यूमिनाटी लीडर्स हु आर एक्चुअली रेप्टिलियंस एंड इफ यू लुक एट द मूवी दे लिव आई बीन हिपिंग द यंग जनरेशन ऑन टू दे लिव अदर डे आई वाच दे लिव विद माय सन वार्निंग एडल्ट लैंग्वेज And he was like, he didn't want to watch the movie because you know I'm an old man compared to him. He didn't think that I know anything good because it's impossible. Somebody coming from my generation can't know anything good or fun. So I forced him to watch it, and then he wound up enjoying the movie a lot. You know what I'm saying? Watch They Live. It'll tell you that these world leaders are rock shashas. They're here amongst us, shape shifting reptilians. No, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I was born in a goddamn conspiracy, so I could be a, I could be a theorist. You know what I'm saying? The year I was born, it's funny because the year I was born, homosexuality went from being a mental illness to fully accepted, and now it's going from a mental illness to being barred again in the state laws. And I'm telling you, it's going to cause a civil war because the homosexual community has a lot of power, and if you say anything against the homosexual community, you're going to have political. implications. So I'm watching very closely what's going on with the southern states and I wouldn't be surprised if in the future some of them try to secede from the the union and I support that. I I want a civil war in this country. I want to see rivers of blood in this country because this country was built on blood and ain't nothing sweet going to change this country. This country needs to feel pain. 90% of the inhabitants were killed when the Europeans came over here. and those inhabitants according to the description of an italian explorer look more like africans than anything they had short hair they wore their hair in a short tuft they had woolly hair they were stocky and looked just like ethiopians so pretty much when you see native Amer- native americans with straight hair going like this that's not the native americans that they was killing they was killing the the negro type native americans with the bone in their nose and all of that the bone goes through here and comes out this side them kind of negroes that's who they was killing that that's the indians they killed people who look like me and you they were killing and they'll never tell you that in their history books cuz they never want you to know that you have a part in the land ownership and title of this country so listen this video is mad long I hope somebody could have learned something from it. It might have sounded like a rant and a rave, but I just want the conscious community to tackle certain things like pollution and getting some land ownership. You're not going to be able to eat when society collapses. And at least if you have some land, you have the basis for wealth. So I like to bless everybody and say Hare Krishna. Peace.